We're here today to celebrate the dedication of the Pamela Rowland School of Fashion. I'm going to introduce a few people before we begin, if I can find them. One is over there, Dave Eisler, who is the president of Ferris State University. Lori Faulkner, who's around here somewhere, she's right here, who is the head of, of the fashion program. Um, David Rodriguez, who is the vice president, and he's standing over there. I don't know why I'm introducing you guys. No one can see you. You want to jump up so they can see you? Uh, he was the vice president of design and brand management at Pamela Rowland. Um, there's Dan over there, and he's shrinking away, but it wasn't on my script, so I won't introduce you. Where, where did, and there's Pamela Rowland herself, uh, who is the, uh, the reason of the, for the gathering today. Um, the naming of the school comes from a generous gift. And it's not just one gift, it's actually three gifts. It's the gift of the resources to build the space you're standing in now and to fill it with all the equipment required to teach the students in the fashion program. And it's also resources to help build other programs that can support the program here. But it's also an, a gift of a name, a name that's synonymous with fashion and this is extremely rare. In the world, there are only two fashion programs that bear the names of designers. And so we're so proud to have Pamela's name on our, pro on our program and our school. And uh, we think it gives us a distinction that we wouldn't have uh, without it. So thanks for that gift. But it's also a gift of vision, I think, as you heard downstairs. It's intended to ignite, ignite the futures of the next generation of artists and designers here in the heart of the Midwest in the creative center of the United States in West Michigan, Grand Rapids. The unique gift speaks volumes about Pamela Rowland, the designer, and Pamela Rowland DeVos, the person. Her artistic vision, flair for fashion, and entrepreneurial spirit are brilliant. Yet her giving heart remains genuine and true. Her hands thrive in the fast-paced, high-end fashion world of New York City, and even globally. But her feet remain firmly planted in the humility of her Midwestern roots, roots planted and nourished right here in Grand Rapids. If you think about it, Pamela is very much like the woman she designs for. In fact, she is the woman she designs for, I think, even though she said she couldn't fit into that little number that was downstairs. <laughs> she is confident, she's successful, she's strong. And while remaining down to earth, uh, she's also comfortable and true. It's that extraordinary com combination that attracts so many to Pamela's work. Since debuting in 2012, Pamela Rowland has become a label of choice among the finest department retailers and specialty stores, both in the United States and abroad. In 2003, Pamela's line was recognized with the prestigious Gold Coast Award. And in 2010, she was inducted into the Council of Fashion Designers of America, which is a private club of the 450 finest designers in the United States, and quite worthy to be one of them. You've seen her one-of-a-kind designs all over the red carpet, um, donned by a legion of A-list celebrities, including Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Hudson, Jennifer Gardner, she likes Jennifer's, Eva Longoria, uh, Carrie Underwood, and many, many more. I speak on behalf of Kendall College of Art and Design, Ferris State University, when I say that we could not be prouder to have our fashion school bear your name. And now I present you the woman behind the designs, Grand Rapids' own Pamela Rowland DeVos. Introduction. Thank you all, everyone, for being here. Um, I am so excited to be here after months of planning and hard work on the parts of so many dedicated people to make this vision a reality. 
I want to thank Ferris President David Eisler and Sam Cummings for their work and support in bringing this partnership together. Today marks the first steps of a shared journey and the start of expanded opportunities for those students with us today and the students that will enter these doors in the future. You see, when I was a young girl growing up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, fashion wasn't a career that you could aspire living here. You could dream about it, and I did. And my dreams were always tethered by the reality that fashion in study and in practice just did not happen here. Fashion was exotic. Fa you know, the movie stars, it was a business that took place in New York, Paris, Hollywood, Milan, but not here. As passionately as I fought these concepts I, when I graduated from high school and dreaming of becoming a part of that fantastic world of fashion, I had to give in in the end. My father insisted the only way I'd make in this world and make any money was to get a business degree. So that's exactly what I did. And I graduated with a bachelor's in business from Michigan State University. I credit my mother with her encouragement to not give up on my dream. I was still an art artist at heart and the love of fashion continued to dwell within me. So I took art, a lot of art history classes, along with my business courses, and worked at a women's retailer. After university, I ventured out into the business world, working extensively in marketing and public relations for several years, and pursuing my artistic passion on the side. I, in fact, spent many days in this very building when it was still the art museum, volunteering. Marianne Keeler is the one that got me involved and helping out with events here. But in my heart, I always knew that the dreams of becoming a fashion designer had taken root in my soul as a very young girl, and they had never let go. In my heart, I always knew I wanted to be a, become a fashion designer. So, in 2002, despite many skeptics, I took the chance to follow that dream, launching the Pamela Rowland Collection. These 11 years have brought twists and turns, highs and lows, that I never dream of. But students, if I can give you one warning, this is a brutal industry, not for the faint of heart, but it also can be extremely rewarding. I'll tell you this because as I look in the room today, I see those same kind of aspirations in your eyes. I see your drive and your longing to make your new, unique mark in fashion design. It's so, it's so great how far we've come. Now your dreams of a fashion career can be established right here at Kendall. On behalf of myself, Dan, my family, and everyone here at Kendall College of Art and Design, the Pamela Roland DeVos School of Fashion, I want to thank you all for being here to help us celebrate the endless possibilities that lie before us. I cannot wait to see the places we go. Thank you. I have the easiest job in the room because my job is to say thank you. <laughs> thank you so very much. What benefactors do is they help dreams become realities. And you and Dan have done that for us today. We had a dream that we would merge Kendall with Ferris, and that's worked out for us quite well. Then we had a dream of redoing this building. And I remember the first time I walked in this building, and up on the fourth floor, the plastic tarp led down to the blue barrel, which was full of rainwater that had come through the roof. <laughs> But our hope was that we could take this wonderful building and give it a new life, a new life for the Kendall College of Art and Design. We've done that. And then we had this dream of creating a fashion school here in Grand Rapids. And you helped make that a dream a reality. And for that, we're eternally grateful. Thank you so very much for doing that. Uh, in Grand Rapids, we've been so blessed to have a donor community who has invested so much into our city to rebuild it. And when you talk with people about what's special about Grand Rapids, it's not just that people provide financial support, it's that beyond that, they remain personally engaged with the programs they help support. And I think that's the special sauce that makes Grand Rapids such a very special place. So on, on behalf of Kendall College of Art and Design, on Ferris State University, our faculty, our staff, all our friends and supporters who are here today, Thank you so very much for helping to make our dreams a reality. And now we're going to unveil the plaque that has the name of the new school of fashion. 